I was 16. We had just gotten to Beaufort. So we're being raised by this six foot four, 240 pound Marine Corps fighter pilot. And one of my brothers fell out of a tree. He comes in, he's about six years old. He's bleeding all over his face. And dad always had this thing, he said, I knew that was gonna happen. And dad backhands him. Well, I finally break. This is a good way to stop a kid crying, Dad. Hit him. Dad picks up a glass full of iced tea. And remember, he's a good athlete. He fires it at me. All right, he split this uh, eyebrow open. It, just, it was wide open where the flap went down where I couldn't see. Blood came down, rushing down. And my mother did one of her classically wonderful lines. She said, nice going, Don. You blinded him. <laughs> Mom rushes me to the emergency room. He says, we're driving to the Naval Hospital. Mom says, OK, here's what happened. We were playing a very spirited touch football game. And you know that spigot that sticks straight out of the lawn? You tried to capture the flag from your father. And he spun and threw you into that spigot and caught your eye. We got to protect our Marine. They arrest him for child abuse. You don't go to college. We don't have a house to live in. The family is depending on you and your acting ability. So I was making up stories about my life at a very early age. You know, I was writing fiction long before I knew I was writing fiction, long before it became necessary for me to write fiction. 